the United States, but really since the beginning, except for Eleanor Roosevelt, has been resistant to equating economic and social rights with civil and political uh, rights or liberties. And so this has been a consistent problem for people who are pushing this. I mean, recently the General Assembly passed a resolution on the right to water and sanitation. Um, it, it has no enforcement, neither does the Human Rights Council, I might add, once they come and review the American report. I mean, it's just out there for the world to see, and that in itself is interesting for the world, right. but not satisfying to the people at home. But when Obama's, when the administration touts its, for example, health care reform, isn't that kind of an economic or social right? Well, it is, but right is the, is the, is the critical word. We, we're talking about something that is a fundamental right, um, like a free press or whatever. It, it almost belongs, in other words, in the Bill of Rights. And that's where the U.S. has always stopped short. Two high commissioners for human rights recently have, have pushed this issue again, that these things are, should be rights. But in every country, they're hard to do. In India, now they're fighting over the right to food. Is there, can you do such a thing right. as ensure the right to food? And could you have a right to health care and still make it for profit? Yeah, can I, can I add to that? It's, it's about um, it being a right, but it's also about exactly not being for profit. Because one of the reasons why the government shies away from acknowledging uh, economic and social rights in this country is because they don't want to acknowledge that um, market forces are out of control. And instead, in this um, health care reform, they push more money into the market instead of um, giving it to, so to people's universal health care How do they needs. talk about it in the report? We expanded coverage, period? Well, they don't acknowledge that, the, that there's fundamental inequalities in the society, that the market has a lot to do with that. The market is unable to meet people's needs. It exacerbates human rights abuses. And they don't acknowledge the responsibility they have to everybody in this country, that, universal rights, that, uni, uh, that human rights are universal. They're universal, they're equitable, and they must be accountable. Um, to all of us as the, as, as the people, and that's just what's not happening. They're going for these selective market-based programs rather than a universal um, measure treating healthcare as a public good where everybody is in the same common pool.